ready to do your home workout, don't forget to do your warming up exercises. Why? To avoid injuries and also to prepare your muscles and joints. Let's do this! If you are a beginner, you can start doing these exercises without any weights. It's okay, but if you enjoy doing home workouts, maybe it's time for you to buy your own kettlebells. So now let's begin. I am only using 12 plus 12 kilograms of kettlebells, so it's 24 kilograms for both. But if you're just a beginner, start with lighter weights. The sumo squat is a great lower body strength exercise that emphasizes the muscles of the inner thigh as well as glutes, quads, hamstrings, hip flexors, and calves. Start in a standing position with your feet wide apart, wider than shoulders, and your toes pointing at 45 degrees angles. Drop into a squat, bending at the hips and knees, and sitting back. Keep your chest up and knees out. Lie flat on the floor with your arms and legs extended. Bring your legs and arms upwards simultaneously. Your upper body should be raised slightly off the floor. Use slow controlled motions so you don't injure your back. Try to keep your arms and legs as straight as you can. Jack knife is designed to strengthen the upper and lower abdominal muscles, particularly the transversus abdominis muscle. You have to be sure that it's properly locked on your door. If you're just a beginner, you have to lessen your inclination. Chest press builds upper body strength and stability. The chest muscles are the primary movers involved, but assisting the exercise are your shoulders, triceps, and core. Arms extended straight, core tight and keeping your body straight from head to toe. Lower yourself down, bending at the elbows and until your chest reaches handle level in the center of the cables. If you want to make it harder, increase the inclination. Exhale as you push yourself up, maintaining a tight core and back to start position. In case you don't have a TRX, you can use alternative equipment that you already have at home. For example, these two chairs. But be sure that they are safe and they are not sliding. This exercise will be called inclined push-ups. You can still go down like when you have the TRX. Aside from using two chairs, you can also use your sofa. But if you use your sofa, you cannot go down just like with the two chairs. Place your arms by your sides, palms down. Engage your core by pressing your lower back into the mat and tucking your pelvis. Maintain this position during the entire movement. With your core tight and neck relaxed, lower one leg toward the floor as you lift the other leg up. Perform slow controlled movements. This exercise works your core muscles, especially the lower part of the abs and hip flexors. Begin standing with your feet Hip width apart and parallel. Lean forward in your hips, shifting your weight onto one leg 
while the other leg engages and starts to extend straight behind you. Move your body forward until your body forms a T shape. This exercise is a hip hinge movement that strengthens the back, core, and legs. This variation of a traditional deadlift involves one leg lifting off the ground and extending out behind you. The more complex movement works even more core muscles, which help to improve balance. Now I'm going to show you how to do Australian narrow body row. Again, just like I said before, if you increase the inclination, it will be harder. Always remember to keep your whole body as a one straight line. Control your core during the whole movement. Do not arch your back. This exercise works mainly the lats and also the trapezius, rhomboids, posterior deltoids, and biceps. I'm going to show you how to do the body row using your table if you don't have a T-Rex. Be sure that your table is strong, not sliding, and also you need to have a good body control. I don't suggest that you straighten your leg like this because it will be much harder, even for me. So, you have to bend your knees and go up. Start on your side with your feet together and one forearm directly below your shoulder. Contract your core and raise your hips until your body is in straight line from head to toe. Hold the position without letting your hips drop for the allotted time for each set. Then repeat on the other side. Engage your core for the whole time. Keep your head and neck straight. This exercise is an isometric contraction of your obliques, glutes, rectus abdominus, and you also need to use the muscle of your arms and legs to stabilize the movement. You can change the position of your arm to make it harder. The hardest variation is with your arm just over your head. That is the first circuit and you have to do this circuit for three times. In between each circuit, you have to rest for one minute. During your rest period, you can choose to just walk around to keep your blood flow going and also your warmed up muscle but avoid using your phone or browsing because you might forget that you are working out there is a part 2 of this circuit training and I am going to upload it soon until next time, bye! wait for it <laughs>